Alright, so another Warframe video and this was a request from when I had uh, my first look at the Tonfa or the Cronin. I had said in that video that I was going to be sticking to Forma on it and leaving it at that. Some of you guys wanted to see what builds I would settle on or use once these Forma were on it. Uh, some of you said not to put Forma on it at all, that it didn't really need it, but I went ahead and stuck them on it anyway. Now I only really use the Cronin with my Valkyrie. And I know weapons like the Ikers, the Dacker Prime and the Dragon the Canna are all superior weapons. So I use the Cronin just to have as much fun as possible. If I'm kind of a little bit bored with the game then I do as many melee runs as I can with this different weapons and the Cronin I run with Valkyrie. Now don't get me wrong they are still really really great weapons. Not just Warframe eye candy. So with all three builds I have got Pressure Point, Spoil Strike, Killing Blow, Fury and Focus Energy on all three. Uh, then I've added whichever elemental combos for each enemy type that uh, basically suits. So I've got Corrosive and Fire for Infested and Void. Basically because I'm kind of too lazy to swap out the Fire and Ice for the Void depending on which way I want to run. Uh, radiation and Viral for Grenier and I've got Magnetic and Toxin for Corpus. Now with Focus Energy my channeling strikes cost about 3 energy I think. Something around 3 anyway, maybe 3 or 5, I can't remember off the top of my head. And with Killing Blow I am dealing a nice bit of extra damage as well as the elemental mods that are on there as well. And they are of course elemental status mods so I've got a decent status chance as well. And as you can see I have got Life Strike missing from all three builds. That's a kind of personal preference for me. Like I said I only run it with, with Valkyrie so with Valkyrie I run a Warcry build and not a Hysteria build. But I do still have Hysteria equipped for the kind of oh shit moments and I want to heal her up. So I use that more than I do Life Strike. If I was running Ash or Loki or something else, then I probably would have Life Strike on it. And since my Valkyrie also has Rage Mod equipped, then I have a decent supply of energy at all times. Unless, of course, an Ancient Disrupt or a bitch slaps me into next week, then of course I lose every last bit of it. Which happens a lot on Infested runs now. There does be so many Ancients and uh, they are a little bit of a pain in the ass to put down. It also, I run with my Raxa Kubra, which keeps the whatever little bit of shield I have on my Valkyrie topped off more often than not and of course running these combinations of the Valkyrie of Cronin and of the Raxa Kubro it kind of makes Valkyrie that little bit more of a bigger beast to put down and uh, it definitely makes her a lot more fun in my eyes anyway but that is my own personal opinion of course plenty of you guys will have a difference of opinion and of course you're entitled to that and I respect it 100% Whichever build you guys run with, it's entirely up to you. Of course, I'm not telling you guys to use this build. This is the one I run with. You just wanted to see it, so here you go. Like I said, I run the Cronin for fun now. Of course, if I was doing a serious run in a higher tier mission, I will use my Dual Ikers or my Dacker Prime or my Dragon Nakana. I wouldn't be taking my Cronin. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Cronin. They have said maybe in a future patch that it might get a slight nerf because they think that maybe the slide damage is a little bit too much or... They want to kind of balance it. I hope it doesn't because it still isn't up there with, like I said, the three weapons that I've mentioned more than once now. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video as it really helps me out. Hit that subscribe button for more Warframe content. And as always, thanks very much for watching.